Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Ubuntu 14 live USB on your Windows PC. Now, we're going to be doing this using the Universal USB Installer app. You can download that and the Ubuntu 14 ISO directly from the full guide linked below. And after you have both of those files, go ahead and open up the Universal USB Installer EFC. You don't have to install the app, it'll open up as a standalone app without having to install anything to your hard drive. So after you open that up, under step one, change the install type to Ubuntu. And then under step two, click browse and then select the Ubuntu ISO that you downloaded. And then under step three, select the flash drive that you have plugged into your computer. Um, just make sure that it has a couple gigs on it so that you don't run out of space. Um, after that, just select format and then click create after you click create just make sure to click yes when you see the warning signs know that this will completely wipe your usb drive so make sure to back up all your files as well the creation process takes you like like four minutes to complete all right now after the drive is finished being created you're pretty much all set to go so go ahead and shut off your computer so that we could actually boot onto this flash drive now this part varies between manufacturers, but when my computer starts, you can see here that I have an option, press F2 to enter the BIOS, and then from there, if I click F8, I'll be brought to my boot devices. Now when that screen comes up, all I have to do is use the arrow keys to scroll down to the flash drive that I just created and hit enter, and then at the next screen, select try boot new without installing. And again, this varies between computers, so be sure to check out your boot screen when you first turn on your computer to see which option will get you to either the BIOS or boot devices. All right, so you can see here that we have a boot new all loaded up. You're at the main desktop, and it'll pretty much function as your full boot new machine without having to install any files. All right, guys, I hope this guide helped you out. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.